So the last one I'd like to do is write this down in standard form and then go and determine the leading coefficient in the degree. Now this problem is a little bit difficult because what we notice is right now it's not in any kind of standard form. They actually want us to apply an operation first. Right? So to write this in, before we can write this in standard form to be able to determine the degree or the leading coefficient, we need to apply this operation. So we have multiplying binomials. So we can just apply our FOIL or distributive property, however you want to work through it. So I'll just do this quickly. I'll have 8x squared plus 6x minus 4x, that's sorry, that's 8x cubed, minus 4x minus 3. Now, since I've multiplied all my terms, now what I want to make sure I do is I rewrite this in standard form with the monomial with the largest degree, meaning your largest exponent, listed first, and then going down in descending order. So we write 8x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6x minus 3. Now that they're in descending order, we can take a look at my largest degree. Monomial of my degree is 3. So therefore, we could say the degree equals 3. And you could say your leading coefficient is going to be the coefficient of that variable in the term, which will be 8. Okay? And there you go. That's it.